Hello, Professor Eve. I will be showing you a couple pieces of art today that I will be conducting a critique analysis on. The first piece of art I'm going to introduce is a painting called The Old Fisherman. It was created in 1902 by Tivador Kotska, who is considered by many critiques to be, if not the greatest Hungarian artist, one of the greatest Hungarian artist there was. He belonged to no specific school of art, but his work included elements similar to those of the foremost painters of post-impressionalism. Tividar was a very, very talented artist, which is interesting as well, because he had ventured off to study painting in his later years at the age of 41 years old. This painting is very interesting, and although it does just look like a portrait of an old man, there are hidden messages right there. Just taking a look at the painting, you can see his face is rough skin. It is covered with a frequent network of wrinkles. In the background, the artist located the sea bay. The waves are breaking on the shore. The from the chimney of the houses on the shore there's a thick smoke on the horizon are mountains or rather their silhouettes hidden by a milky fog in relation to the figure of the fisherman the landscape is secondary and plays the role of the background much of his artwork was because he had schizophrenia and showed expressive designs in his work this image, though, if seen uh, being a mere image of itself, it would show a complete, completely different image. If being mirrored on its left side, then the image shows the old fisherman praying in a boat in a relaxed sea. And if being mirrored on the right side, it would show a devil-like old man with a darker themed background, which almost looks stormy. The painting is said to show the bipolarity of human beings. And to me, it's just incredible in the way he was creatively able to actually express all that he did with through just this one painting. The second piece of work I'm going to talk about is a cafe terrace at night painted by Michelangelo in 1888. There is much more deeper meaning to what meets the eye in this one as well, which I would like to stay on the theme of more of a hidden message. In this painting, it's also one of his most beloved, featuring a classic Van Gogh take on an ordinary scene, but another school of thought claims there's something much deeper at play. According to a recent theory, Cafe Terrace at Night is really about the Last Supper. From an early age, Van Gogh was extremely religious. His father was a Protestant minister, and influential art critics have argued that his painting has suffered with Christ suffused with Christian imagery. In the case of Cafe Terrace at Night, that imagery comes in the form of Jesus sitting down to eat with his disciples. Both these pieces have had a underlining theme of almost a hidden message that I wanted to emphasize on because that to me is pretty creative in my head because the, if they're able to think of something as of mirroring an image that comes with two different images is just in, in, in insane in my head, which gives me a newfound respect for a lot of artists, which one, I've already had, but two, just I never even knew about some of the paintings I had discussed and, and the complex values that they actually hold. Thank you for this.